so students in our very first exercise you have to match the columns to complete sentences and rewrite in the first column you have different subjects like i the dog rath harit and you in the b column you have the rest part of the rest of the part of the sentences okay now what you have to do you have to identify the subject of the particular predicate okay jaise ki aap dekh sakte hain i i ke sath hum kya use karte hain can we use are with i no ab hame dekhna bhi hai ki kis tarah se sentence frame hoga right so the very first sentence will be i am going to the playground the second sentence the dog the dog is chewing on a bone right the third sentence rat rat has invited all the girls to her party okay the next one is harit harit has lost his cricket gloves and the last sentence is you are going alone to school today now you have already learned which kind of helping verbs are used with the different kinds of nouns and pronouns right so you can use it in this way when you have to match the column but in the next exercise what you have to do you have to put a slash after the word from column a as shown in the example i am going to the playground okay see in your book after i what we have used here slash why we are using this kind of slash because we want to separate the both things subject and predicate okay so in all these sentences you have to use this okay so the dog is chewing on a bone so the dog ke baad aap aisa slash use karenge ruth has invited all the girls to her party ruth harit slash has lost his cricket gloves you slash are going alone to school today now see in all these sentences i the dog ruth harit and you what are these these are the subject right so we name the person or thing we are going to talk about in subject in subject of a sentence right but in the predicate in the predicate of a sentence we say something about the person or thing that we have already learned today okay and no sentence is complete without a subject and a predicate okay